This presentation will teach you about animal classification. Animals are classified or sorted into groups by placing them into groups that have similar characteristics. All animals are divided into two main groups. Vertebrates, these are animals that have backbones, such as mammals, reptiles, birds, amphibians, and fish, or invertebrates. We are not going to spend a lot of time learning about invertebrates, but you do need to know that arthropods are a type of invertebrate. Here are some examples of invertebrates, which again are animals that do not have a backbone. You might see some animals here that you're very familiar with and others that you might not know as well. A vertebrate is an animal that has a backbone or spinal column, which is made up of small bones, each called a vertebra. Vertebrates are classified or grouped into five classes according to their characteristics. Here you can see some x-rays or images of people and animals that have vertebrates. Mammals have a backbone, are warm-blooded, have lungs to breathe air, most mammals give birth to live young, and produce milk to feed their babies. They also have hair or fur on their bodies. Reptiles are another class of animal. They have a backbone, are cold-blooded, most reptiles lay eggs, their bodies are covered in scales, and they have ear holes instead of ears. Reptiles breathe using lungs. Birds have a backbone. They have ear holes and not ears. Their bodies are covered in feathers. Female birds lay eggs. They are warm-blooded. They have dry skin. They have a bill or a beak. All birds have wings, but some birds can't fly. Amphibians have a backbone, are cold-blooded. They don't have scales. Most lay jelly-like eggs in water. And baby amphibians breathe with gills, but later develop lungs to be able to breathe on land. Fish have a backbone, are cold-blooded. Most fish lay eggs. Most fish have scales. They live in water. They have fins. They breathe using gills.